Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, today I want to talk about Spot Him, Got Him. A lot of people don't um even know or aren't aware that he actually has been locked up recently, uh, as recent as July 16th. And he's actually fighting a couple charges that he has pending against him, and it's not looking too good for him. And I've recently learned about these charges. That's why I want to talk about it, because he's actually an artist of mine that I like from Jacksonville, Florida. And the thing about it is this, man. A lot of these rappers, it's seeming like after they gain some type of success in this music industry, all of them are going to jail under whatever circumstance. But it's like it's it's like a be a rapper to go pack. I don't know what it is, man, but it's like that's the package of becoming a rapper these days. You have to get locked up for whatever reason. This time his charges seem a little serious. But I'm not going to say that because every time I say that and I think an artist is probably going to do a lot of time or his career is going to end up being messed up, somehow, some way they skate off and I don't know. It's like they don't do no time, no repercussions, no consequences, no nothing. So what we're going to do today is we're going to get into this whole article about, you know, explaining what's going on with Spot'em Got Him right now. And then, um... I'm going to give you my opinion. Y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comments. Now, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And I swear, I swear, I swear, it's lit here. So join one of the latest games on YouTube so you can stay updated with some of the real content. Now, let's get straight into it. It says here, rapper spot him, got him arrested inside Aventura Hotel Room by U.S. Marshals. And not the cops, U.S. Marshals. Now it says here, the 19-year-old rapper from Jacksonville whose real name is Naimi, 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 Amaya, Nahemaya, I don't know, Nahemaya Harden is being held with no bond on several charges. Now it says here, rapper Spot Em Got Em scheduled to perform at the annual Rolling Loud Festival was arrested by U.S. Marshals on Thursday while inside the Aventura Hotel Room. It says the 19-year-old rapper from Jacksonville, whose real name is Naimia, whatever, Harden, faces several charges including aggravated assault with a firearm, possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, and accessory after the fact to a felon. Now it says he was granted 18,500 bond during the Friday hearing. Marshals entered Harden's room located at the hotel at 2085 Biscayne Boulevard just before 9.30 a.m with an arrest warrant now y'all know this too if anybody y'all been in the streets y'all know that these guys they come early as hell i don't know what it is some of them if they got a warrant they're coming for you at four in the morning five in the morning they gonna come early as hell because you know they they trying to catch you slipping they trying to make sure you there they trying to make sure it's hours that they know you sleeping and that's the time they come 9 30 is pretty um late if you ask me but I know over in New York, what happens is they come at early as four or five in the morning if they got a warrant for you. Now it says here, Harden was laying in bed at the time of his arrest with the AK-47 pistol next to him, according to an arrest report. Sheesh. Now it says the warrant was for a case in June where Harden allegedly was in a car with several friends when they broke the gate at a parking garage located near 10th Street and Collins Avenue. Harden reportedly pulled out a semi-automatic weapon at a person who tried to stop the vehicle before fleeing the scene. Now it says the rapper who is best known for his 2020 hit single beatbox is scheduled to perform at the Rolling Loud Hip Hop Music Festival. Alright, that didn't happen. Alright, now, first and foremost, man, if you're a rapper or if you're just in the streets, period, you into any type of legal anything, I always advise you guys, man. Do not do anything illegal while you are in the streets. This whole case right here, the fact that he has a warrant, uh, what he's act what they actually was coming to his house for, it just doesn't make sense. Alright? They run in, they try to break out of a parking garage, whatever the case may be. They broke the gate, and in the midst of them breaking the gate, they pulled out a gun on somebody that was trying to stop them nine times out of uh, a work or something. And that's foolish, man. Or now all that right all that caused another situation to where now he's fighting bigger charges and now the same case that they caught him and gave him the warrant for nine times out of ten he's going to plead guilty to that for the simple fact that now you just prove when they came to get you 
you had a, a AK-47 in your bed with you. So at the end of the day, how are you going to prove that you are innocent, give or take these circumstances, man? It's kind of hard, man. And I think a lot of the times, yes, as, um, 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 you know, being a black person, I hate to always put that in there, but we have to protect ourselves. Who knows what's going down in Jacksonville right now? I hear it's crazy. So I'm sure that's why he probably was sleeping with an assault weapon, you know, AK-47. But now, look, it's gotten him in more trouble. And now he has more charges pending on top of the charges that he already have. So please, y'all, man. And it's, and it's looking bad for him because nine times out of ten, they're going to try to give him time for something. If he skates away on this one... <laughs> I just don't know, man. I don't know what to say for these rappers because it seems like every time they do get off on these amazing charges. NBA Youngboy, he's my number one prime example when I'm explaining anything about these artists getting away because it seems like he gets away with murder, literally. All right? And um, like I said, Spot him, got him's case, man. For some reason, it seems like every rapper that has some type of success these days, especially these young kids, Cause he's only 19 And it seems like They always gotta end up Doing some type of jail time Some type of jail time Man And it, it's getting sad It's getting real sad And as far as The whole situation With him having a gun I get it Because Like I said I heard Jacksonville Is on fire right now Florida period Is on fire So it's like Damn if you do Damn if you don't You won't wanna get Caught slipping without it But now that you do Get caught slipping with it Which is from the police now you got some extra charges pending over your head, man. I didn't know this was the case. Um, it seems like he's out. I seen the story today on Instagram. Um, it seemed like he bonded out and, you know, he's still in the studio doing whatever he like to do. But let this be a lesson, man. All y'all young kids out there, um, one foolish thing could lead to another thing, man. And it's easy to get yourself in trouble, but it's hard as hell to get yourself out of trouble. All right. His attorney or whoever he has right now is going to have to work. In order to get this, you know, to try to prove him innocent. But, you know, anything is possible these days with these artists, man. But like I said, young guys that's coming up, you rappers, you, you, whatever you want to be, right? Avoid all nonsense. Avoid being, being around the crowd, too, because obviously he was with some friends. Somebody should have been around him and tell him, like, yo, listen, man, this is foolish. Why are you sitting here? Uh, ramming into the gate, breaking the gate, then pulling a gun. No, like you pulling a gun on a worker that stopped you. Come on, and I'm pretty sure there's cameras all over, so I'm sure there's surveillance footage somewhere. And this is why they probably got a warrant because a lot of times they don't come with a warrant unless they know something. And now, one little foolish thing led to another, and also, this is why it's important to have friends around you that are aren't yes men. People that's around that's gonna help you. People that's gonna tell you like, yo, you bugging, you bugging out. If somebody, cause you gotta remember, spot him, got him. He's still a kid, man. Me, I classify nineteen, even though it says you're a little older. <sighs> These days, man, nineteen year old. I, when I was coming up, nineteen year old, you was grown. A lot of us had our own place, had our own car, all that at that time. But it's like these dudes now, man, growing up, 19, you still a baby. And it's no disrespect to them. But things like this, these situations that's occurring, it makes no sense. So now, you know, this man he possibly going to do some time, take away from his career. Uh, his family is going to be left doing whatever they got to do. Who knows, man? But y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comments about this, man. Um, I just want to know, was it worth it? All right, y'all let me know in the comments how y'all feel. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping, and I'm out.